Hello everybody, good morning. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Can I get sound check? Check, check. Microphone check. Emergency vet visit. JT, what? Oh, gosh, girl. Praying for you, girl. Praying for you. Got to watch over JT's dogs. Please, please, Lord Jesus, watch over JT's dogs. Oh, this is not the time. This is not the time, JT. Okay. Good morning. Thank you, my MP. Check, check. Okay, we got everything's ready. We got muffin today. You guys know muffin. But let me just check one thing where the cone head is that fits her. This one kind of ready here. We'll lay this one out there. Hi, Muffin. Ooh, I have been so busy, and I uh, I feel great today, but I hardly am getting any sleep. For those of you mamas out there, pet mamas and 
human mamas, I appreciate, you know, just how much it takes to be a real parent. So I know it takes a lot. So shout out to all the, pe the parents, excuse me, the parents out there. You guys are awesome. All right, so we got Muffin here. Muffin, back in the day, um, two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, when she came in, her teeth were extremely, extremely bad. And I want to say it was around 13 teeth that they ended up pulling out, but let me check the record. Nine, or, nine to 13 teeth by the time they finally got the dental done. And you know my referral for the client to go to was about an hour away, but the cost of the dental was only, it was under $400. I think it was 300 and something, maybe even 200 and something. It was just so affordable for that many dental extractions. So if you end up needing a referral for care in the Fort Worth, Texas area, at least the veterinarians I know more well out here than across the nation, but I grew nationwide. So if you end up needing a referral for veterinarian care, please contact me and I'll do my best to kind of give you a referral based off of what your needs are. Vaccinations I do at one place with a, with a particular veterinarian. When it comes to dental care, I like another veterinarian. For ER care, there's another veterinarian. So if you happen to need some referrals here in the DFW area, please let me know. And I know so many clients drive out to me from all over the Metroplex, so I know they're veterinarians too. So we have a, a lot of places that we can potentially talk about if you are in the hunt for a great veterinarian. All right, so. I'm going to do this talking offline in case we have any issues because I know we, we need to move forward and everything and I don't want to have any sound issues, but you never know. Well, maybe I'll do a little bit. You guys let me know if there's just, what is the, if the sound is check, checking. A sound check in the sense of does it all fit together. If it doesn't, I'm going to step aside. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Okay, thanks for being there for the deliveries. Oh my gosh, it's been a crazy weekend. So with Muffin, she's a mini poodle, miniature poodle. She came to me for her first groom back in November 2021. The pet parent's wife, Desenia, what's up? She found me on YouTube and wanted to try me out. So we did, let me see here, short body, smallest guard, tangled tail, lead tail, clear out eyes and mouth, leave top knot short. Then we went into like basically December 2021 was five on the body, teddy bear feet, seven legs, seven feet, 10 in the matted areas, 10 matted tail, 10 matted behind the ear, 10 is in blade number. So if you go to myfavoritegroomer.com at the top, there's a search engine, just type in blade, click on a ceramic or ultra edge blades. Those are the two different types. And you then pick 10 blade, seven blade, and then you can see more numbers there. And if you didn't get that, rewind it. <laughs> okay, so we did seven feet, 10 matted tail, 10 matted behind the ears, 10 being the shortest, safest blade, okay? Try not to scissor out mats, it's really dangerous. If there's a, a roll of skin you can't tell and you cut it, it's a bad day. Pet parent lives nearby, so I'm talking to you and educating you before I start the groom. I hope that's okay. Thank you for understanding. The next one is three. 2022 and there may be some here that sometimes I just mistakenly not right now but I'm hoping this goes to a flow so about every three months we come in even today he said let me make sure this is good I didn't get anybody saying that the voice doesn't match so uh, if it doesn't match please let me know if you don't mind please the so we'll show teeth when working on feet back feet tail Face, hates the face shaved. Okay, so now we really understand the dog is being herself. We went to a four guard instead of a five all over. Four guard down, teddy bear head, seven blade tail. Remember, like it was shaved down first. Hates the tail touched. Five body, so we continue doing that, and seven legs. So when you do five body, which is five blade body, seven blade legs, you can mesh them together around the hip and thigh area, but you have a longer body and shorter feet. Feet kind of tapering off down because they pick up so much gunk 
and sometimes have to wipe it and all that. So tapering down on the legs allows you to have shorter legs and easy, more manageable groom in between grooms. On June 11th, 2022, she almost bit me while doing teeth. So I was looking at her teeth. They were so painful is my point. And I recommended at that point, like, hey, there was thread wrapped around some teeth. It was bad. And we took a lot of video and pictures and, and we did annotate that. You're okay, Muffin. We also continued doing the five all over four guard down teddy bear head. And I checked under the chin. Oh, four guard cheeks, four guard under the chin. Four guard cheeks, five blade under the chin, my bad. And then again, now a new note. Every three months we're grooming, we'll bite for feet and nails. So you gotta be careful. Now we're into kind of de Dece December. Yeah, so that's June. I feel like I'm missing one right now, but we're here in December, 2022. Today is February. So let's go back. Is that every 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? I'm missing a right down there. 12, okay, anyways. 12, 20, 2022, which is a two months ago, five body, so we continue doing that, seven legs, 10 feet, 40 pads, four guard down, teddy bear head, cheeks, four guard tail now, because his tail's no longer matted, and I gave him a bag of treats. Okay, great. Blow dry most is okay, but not all of it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be working with. We're gonna do five blade body, seven legs, feet, seven legs, 10 feet. 40 on the pads, okay? If you're studying, write all that down. And then four guard down, which is down with the body, not reverse, four guard down on a 10 blade to do the head, the cheeks, and the under the chin, I did a five, five, remember that? Five blade, okay. Do you got all that? <laughs> all right. Okay, let's do this. That's a big recap there. That's a lot of recapping. I feel like it, I, I feel better knowing that I make notes that I can refer back to to remind myself how each groom goes. Now remember, I don't groom your average great dog. I groom mostly the dogs with an issue. So if you're watching, understand that part first about what I do, and then, then know why you hardly ever see a dog that's not trying to bite or a dog that doesn't need that one-on-one -on -one experience. Most of the time, the dog on my table is gonna be a dog that's difficult, hard to groom, been turned away, is senior, aggressive, or disabled. And those three are my cup of tea. So know that if you're gonna watch and take notes and you're gonna comment below, any kind of comments, know that first, that I'm not just grooming the average, regular, great dog out there. Now there are some great dogs that come in, but in most cases, 99% case, of the cases that come in, it's not your nice dog. So the grooming is always dictated around the dog, not what I want, okay? Let's go, let's do this. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining. Be sure to hit that like button and let's get started. Come on, Muffin. Can I pick you up, Muffin? Come on, Muffin. Up, 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 up. You look really, really, they did a walk when they got here. Good, like 12 minutes actually felt like. Maybe 10, 12 minutes. So she got some, she can piss some energy, but she still got a little energy here. Okay. Harnesses are great. Leash and collar is much better for walking, unfortunately. It does do a, a different thing to the mind. Leash and collar is much better for walking. I know we're concerned about things like class trachea and all that, but they should stay pretty healthy most of their life. Towards our senior, towards being a senior, then I would say then you should change out to your harness. But some trainers out there probably wouldn't even agree with that. All right, fine, Blade. I had to put that up. We'll do, I got the tin. If you let's start, let's start with the body. Let's go ahead and start with the body. And, and remember, she will bite. So there may be a point where I go, okay, we're gonna put a cone head on. Isn't this like so sweet? But the pet owner at the door, he said, I didn't want to cancel and get off track because you're he's in every yeah, every two months. We were we were every three months for a while. And there would be matting a little bit. 
And so he said, let's do every two months. I remember that now. And so we moved it every two months. Now, some of y'all groomers out there watching are like, you got your clients coming in every two weeks. I have over the many years in Texas have found it very hard for a client to come every two weeks. Like Max the Catan, at one point it was a requirement he had to come every two weeks or I wasn't going to help because he would always come so matted. But it's really hard to budget in every two weeks down here in Texas anyway. I, I don't know. It's just, it is what it is. Even if I bring the rate down, you know, it's really hard for people to keep their appointments. Five blade, which I don't use very often. But he said, do the same thing, and then we'll see you in two months. That way it stays, maintaining is where we want to be. That's less work for the groomer, less time for the dog, and manageable for the pet parent. That's key right there. Because the pet parent has to brush if they want to brush it all. So in this case, look, look, this five blade is going straight through it. I hardly ever use a five blade. It's a ceramic. It's got the white ceramic cutter on my and it's five feet. You can check all that out at myfavoritegroomer.com. And while you're there, just sign up for the newsletter so I can keep in touch with you. Pet parent, if you're out there watching, would you mind writing in the live chat how many teeth they extracted? Was it 9 or 12 or 13? It was a lot. And you know why they found that, that they had to extract all those teeth? Because I told them the teeth were really, really bad. So those of you guys that say you should not be looking at different things while the dog's on your table for grooming, that's wrong. While the dog's in for grooming, which is every couple months, keep an eye on everything for the client. If you see something that, they, that you think that you would want to know about, please tell the client so they can take action. If your client only gets to the veterinarian once a year or twice a year or once a year or once every two years or something like that, or not at all, they wouldn't know, would they? Oh yeah, she don't like her legs. And be ready for a snapback. She don't like her tail, does either. She don't like nothing, does she? <laughs> you don't like nothing, do you? It's okay. There you go, there you go. Okay, all right. Give me that look. Okay. All right. What's that look, you guys? Here you go. Let's get something on here. I already pulled it aside. See? There's a lot of different kind of cone heads I have on my website. She is going to have the tiny one, okay? Size zero if you get, it just depends on the brand that you go with. Just enough for me to back up. We're going to do a seven on the leg, so don't even worry about going down the legs with a five. It doesn't make any sense. Five blade is has wider teeth, so if you're going to come down on the tummy at all, like just by the sides, you want to make sure you don't cut a nipple, okay? This is the Dog Up Plus. You can use it this way or lay it this way, sideways like that, and put it in between like this, like that. It's a really handy tool. What I'm going to do, she's tall, so I'm going to go this way.
Get our seven blade now, move into the legs. Seven blade. If you do the coffee in hand, I'll move it to the harness. I'll move it into underneath. Okay. back all the way down to the bottom, right? With the ten blade. So you gotta come back anyway. Make sure you're taking notes. You know why I had to learn how to do all that? Like that whole seven, ten, five, seven, ten. Cause here, I don't know about Texas, anywhere, anywhere, five, five blade, seven blade, seven blade, ten blade. Parents in the schnauzer world would tell me they want their legs shorter, even though it's traditional to have a pattern cut, right? And so I would do the legs shorter and it wouldn't look good. But we were doing it for efficiency and cleanliness, hygiene cut. 
So then I learned to teach myself. No one taught me. I didn't Google how to fade, none of that. It just, it was what was happening on the table. So I was like trying to figure out how to put this and this together without it being so loud, like there's a line or something like that. So I learned to go lighter. I also just learned to take my a different guard, four guard or two guard on a tin blade and go reverse there, clean it up. And I'll tell you right now, all that is how you do a man's haircut on a fade. But you just have different tools. So I can't wait to go to barber school. I, I really will be a really good fader. You know what I mean? I already been learning it for so long by myself. Just imagine if I had a little teaching, someone teaching me in a setting for human beings. Ooh, I'm gonna have fun with that. That whole screaming thing, what's she doing? You know what it is? It's get off. I'm the boss. And I know a little bit about it that time. I'm the boss over here. I'm the boss too, girl. <laughs> hey, hey. have to make noises you don't want to, but I feel like I definitely get some changes in demeanor when I make a little noise like that. Since it's curly, I took just the edge of my seven blade right there and kind of came in like that. And later on, I probably will come with my little four guard reverse and kind of clean that up a little bit more. Good girl. Good girl. You see this one? Put your head up, will you? Put your head up. Put your head up. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad. There's no need to get mad, you know? She's just hyper, that's all. That's just who she is. You can't change it. It's what it is. She went for a walk before she came in, too. Putting that energy into it. She needs to walk every day, and that's probably what's not happening. They're not walking every day, which is, that's fine with them. But you're going to see it on the table. She's not relaxed. She's hyper. She needs exercise. A lot of it. You take a dog that's just on the couch sleeping, snuggling, especially right after all this ice storm, they, and, they, and then they, they ain't walking. Do you think that energy just goes away? No, it's just pent up. And if you don't help that dog exercise, where's he gonna go? She's gonna stay inside, cycling through like a washing machine. Hup, hup. Just tend down the feet, that's all. Just tend down on the feet. You can do clean feet if you want to, but we don't do that on her. And honestly, if you're working with a dog that's just a, a pet, I probably wouldn't force a clean feet if they're arguing and yelling and screaming. I'd probably just say it's not even worth it. Even if it is on your doodle, poodle, standard, if it's your pet, you can make the choice. Nice tin blade there. See, you can hardly see a transition, right? That's what we want. And you guys tell me that yawn, right? What's that yawn? <laughs> tell me that yawn, man. She ain't stressed from here. This is just who she is. So thanks for noticing that, and you're welcome to have your opinion. But please don't put that out there like you know for sure, because you haven't been grooming the dog for since 2021 like I have. But thank you for your comment. All right, let's get into our 40 blade. Let's go 40 blade on the pads. Pet parent comes in. He's happy. I'm happy. The dog's a little hyper, and we're saying she hasn't. No, it's okay. You just don't know because you maybe just got here. I'm not sure. Well, I've been grooming her a long time, and, and no offense, you haven't. Facts, facts. 
Well, why she, why, what happened? She's still, what happened right there? Nah, you just don't know, you know what I'm saying? Suddenly she got calm? Nah, she, this is who she is. Just enjoy watching her. Or don't. I literally told you guys on the forum, I told you, I literally told the, the team about what she was gonna act like before we started, right? Bite her and everything like that. Okay, baby mama seat the muffin. Come on, put your foot down. Let's go this way with it. Let me have this one now. This one right here. Thank you. Okay. She don't like the groom, period. That's why we try to be fast. That's why I'm fast. Put down, there you go. Take it to the vein and hit the vein. That, that might be causing her to be upset, but I am taking the sharpness off. Her front feet, we don't need her to stand up. There you go. Where did it go, huh? Where did it go? Where did it go? Good gal. Ooh, that dew claw is so tiny. So tiny. Let me see here. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Let's do our template under the tummy now. Thank you, Cassandra. Woohoo! Trimmed it right there like that. Okay. 
go up here and get all this under that leg right there like that. And the private as well. You're okay. You're okay. No, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it, girl. Okay. And I flicked hard there because there was a piece there with some poop on it. And I didn't want it to attach itself to the inside of my blade. So I, I got it and flipped it, flipped it hard off, you know? She's so stubborn. You're so stubborn. You're stubborn. Here. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it, please. Don't do it. The armpit's a very hot spot for grooming. Okay? Easy to nick the armpits. All right, since I've got this groom loop, which is an 18-inch groom loop in this armpit, I need this armpit. So now I'm going to flip her into this right here like that. Boom, boom. And honestly, she needs like 20 minutes of work working out, 30 minutes maybe. I'm going to make a note for that. And if the pet parent's watching, you can make a note too. Because if she was just a little bit calmer, we would probably be able to go even faster. But it's okay. It's manageable right now. I'm okay with it, but I don't have time to do a walk, extra walking or something like that right now. I got a lot going on with my own self. I need to be done, you know what I'm saying? So, otherwise I would actually take her for a walk myself, but I don't have the time to do that. Well, since I mentioned that, uh, I want to make sure we ended up doing double check on that on the tail. Oh, was it a four guard tail? Yep, it was. So four guard tail, four guard down teddy bear head, four guard, and then five down the chin. So that's a little different. But four guard is going to be down the tail. She doesn't like her tail done, remember? This is a great place to implement the plus.
All right, four guard now. We're going to start working on our head. Let me reposition you guys. And then I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll see you guys around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. I have a treat for you. Sandra, work on those client records. If you need to buy my client record form, I sell it. I think it's a dollar a sheet, but it has two on it. Or you could just buy the rights to just copy it, and I'll send you the Word document. Um, email me at myfavoritegroomer.com. Go there. Go to the down at the bottom to contact me. My email address is dede underscore grooms at yahoo.com. You can email me and say, give me your contact form. I'll send you an invoice. Pay for it, and I'll give you the document. You can change it up however you want. But if you have something to go by, then you just stay with it. And then I change it about every five to six years, depending on what new things might have happened in my grooming career. Okay. Take giving her a little bit of a break. I'm taking a sip of my drink as well as I look at you guys. been 40, 40 minutes or so for the groom time. I have the, heart, the groom loop around her body like a half of figure eight. I don't have anything around her neck. I'm working on her face. Her neck movement is essential to not get nicked in the eyeball, lip, face, cheek. So I put my simple lead around her head. If you're going to have a dog whipping around like this, looking around, you are definitely able to nick that face, cheek, eyeball, then you need to have some other way to control the head. The simple lead I sell for a dollar, a little over a dollar, I think. It's definitely great to give to your clients. Walk around with it in your pocket to always have a lead on you. And then also to work with the neck when you can't hold the neck with the groom loop or don't want to. So that's what I'm doing right now and that's why. So four guard. I'm using my four guard and this guard. It goes on a tin blade. There's a lady out there. She ordered the Vita clipper and ordered ceramic whatever blades and then also guard that doesn't, that doesn't fit that blade or clipper, I should say. That doesn't fit that. Yeah, the guards she ordered these do not fit the Vita blade. The Vita blade has its own guards with the clipper and that's all you get. That you can't even, I don't even think you can order guards for that clipper unless you're ordering the replacement. And I don't even, I don't remember seeing those. And I'm an Andis distributor. So four guard, 10 blade, that's it. Don't question it, just 10 blade on the guards, okay? Put your 10 blade on, put your guard on. You're gonna squeeze and pull at the same time. If you didn't know, there's a button here. Some of y'all don't have a button and it still will pop off with or without the button. So make sure you know how to take your blade off. There's a lot of videos I've done on that. Please be sure to type in my favorite groomer Blade, my favorite groomer clipper, and you get those educational videos, okay? I bathe after I do the first haircut. And then if I have to come back, then we do. It depends on the dog, you know, aggression and attitude. All right, four guard down the head, not reverse, down, okay? And this, by the way, what, what it, how cute it looks right now, this is a four guard down two months ago. So this is what it grows out to be, okay? And we're not doing clean face. She's doing like a teddy bear look. So four guard down will look like this in two months. After I take it all off, you'll see what we're looking at today, how much comes off. I'm gonna go reverse the blend right there. But I'm not going reverse on her head. No, no. No, no. I gotta have you look up. Come on, look up. You gotta look up. Look up, but don't bite me, right? <laughs> like feather off on top of the ear. Hut, hut.
No, 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 good girl, good girl, no, no, good girl, good girl, no, no, don't get mad, don't get mad yet. You've got three minutes to get in there and do the work without getting really up, getting them too upset when they're mad. Three minutes, that's not a lot of time. So, let me see your ear. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Okay, looking cute. That's looking cute right there. You see? Look up, please. Look up. Let me double check here the cheeks. She ain't liking it at all. Let's get our five blade and a five blade under the chin. Look up, look up, okay, look up. All right, we have to do this. We have to put this here. You see your arm here? There we go. Okay, we gotta do that. I may or may not use that. Come on, look up, look up. I have to have you looking up. Okay. Hush, hush, hush. Good girl, good girl. No, 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 no. Good girl, good girl. Maintenance, because uh, Eclipse, he, she was coming in matted and she she's mean. So why piss the dog off every time they come in? You've got to keep it short and manageable. They have kids at home. They don't have time to brush. They're not going to brush. They don't want to brush. Easy. easy. I, they, this required no brushing in two months. Two months, no brushing, just see Dee Dee. That's it. Easy peasy. I get my fingers out of the way. Fingers out of the way here. Wait, 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 wait. Pop, 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 pop. No, put your foot down. Don't tell me what to do. Put your foot down. Muffin. Good girl. Muffin. Muffin, put your foot down. Don't tell me what to do. Good, don't do it. Don't do it. Good, do it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I know, that's kind of matted. It's okay, those eye boogers, right? Yeah, those eye boogers, they like to get in there. Cause problems. Good girl, nice rub on the chin there. Good girl, you like that? Good girl. Good girl. Okay. You're tough. You're a tough bunch. Yeah, you're tough. Let me see. Burping, that means a comfort level. We got a nice little comfort level there. We do a little water because there's a little tiny bit of static. Excuse me, no, no. It's usually matted behind your ears, so I'm going to slice through that. You may not use scissors if you don't know how to control it. It's dangerous. If she does a jerky jerk and you're not used to it, use your clipper or thinning, thinning shears. That way, if there's a lunge up into the scissor, at least it's not pointed like the ones I just used. But I mean, I'm okay. I'm, com I'm confident in what I'm doing. Good 
inside the ear area here. Pa parent has to hold for the ear, so we, we may pull the ear hair today. We only pull every other time kind of thing. I don't like if a dog, if it upsets a dog a lot, I don't do it every single time. That's just my choice. I don't want every time they come in, they have a bad experience because it is painful to pull ear hair. So what we do is every other time and the pet parent will hold. So that way, sometimes in between, they don't have to go through that pain and then the, you're building trust when there's no pain, okay? If you, every time they come in, you're causing pain, no offense, you're not building trust. They, they get to a point where they're like, every time I come here, she causes pain on me, right? They remember that. All right, so I wanted to make sure, let me brush this better. Don't, don't, we can't do that, okay? We can't do that, okay? We, we got a brush here. No, we can't do it, honey. We can't. Can't do the jerky jerk. No, 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 no. Put your foot down. No, 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 no. You're getting away with no clipper work, so you gotta let me brush it at least. No, no. Hold the skull bone. No, 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 no. No, 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 let me see, no, 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 let me see here, no, see, you don't want me to do nothing over here, no, no, girl, no, 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 that's your eyeball we're talking about, no, 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 can you imagine having a poodle you can't brush? Honestly. Oh yeah, check it out, Cassandra. Talk to your, talk to your, maybe your salon manager wants to just, you know, do it. I mean, if you've got a franchise, you guys should already have a record keeping system, no offense. Okay? Miss Drill Sergeant is gonna come out, okay, and start ordering you around. Cause this whole little Miss Doubtfire is not working. You could chase the face with your scissors all day, but that's a more chance of being hurt. Wow. 
you're talking to lots of people, you can't do it quietly, can you? If you're in drill, if, you, if you've been to drill, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, everybody, pull out your rifles. <laughs> okay, forward march. Yeah, whatever. If you can't relate, you have not joined our military. Or even ROTC. Even ROTC knows what I'm talking about. What if, maybe I need to go to the school and get some ROTC workers. And I'll train them, I'll say, when you're talking to the dog, if they don't want to listen, please turn into the drill sergeant. Thank you very much. No jerky jerk. No jerky jerk. We're talking about this is your lip and your no. No. No ma'am. 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 This is why you had all the extraction to begin with, all that hair getting in the mouth. Easy peasy. Go ahead, take a lick. Hold on. Just chuck the mate. Huh. Huh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Muffin. Muffin. Don't lick it all back in there. Muffin. Huh. Good girl. Good girl. Let me take a look. Good job. Good job, girl. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Come here. Let me see. Let's take a look. Let me see. Let me see. Look up. Good girl. Let me see. And no note. No note. Good job. Good note. Put your foot down. Let me see. Let me see. Close your mouth now. Close your mouth. Nope. No, no. No, no. Look at me. Look at me. Easy peasy. Muffin. Muffin. Good girl. Nope. Don't do that. Don't do it. Couple more swipes here. No, no. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Down. Down. Good girl. Down. No. No, no. No, no. No, put your foot down. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Put your foot down. Don't put your foot down. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Muffin. 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 Look at me. This is serious. Look at me, please. Let's have a discussion. Okay? That little discussion has a lot to do with the hair that goes in your mouth. Okay? Don't do it. Don't. See? Let me see. Get all that going in the mouth there. Okay, steady, Betty. Betty, I'm, I'm thinking about you every time I say that, Betty in Florida. No, put down, down. Stop doing that. Be here all day. Do the opposite of what I need, right? Opposite of what I need. I'm waiting for you. No. Hook. 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 Don't do that. Don't do that. No. 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 Good job. Good job. Good job. One more there. One more. No, no. Good job. Good job. Let me see. About this area because this is going to keep her teeth in good care. I want her to have less dentals if possible.
Right there, right there. No, no. No, no. Muffin. Muffin. No, no. Let me see, please. Let me see, please. There we go. There we go. Got a couple there. Let me see, please. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Nice. Okay. Whew. Whew. Sweating. Woo-wee. Girl, you something else. You are something else. Cute though. You are so cute. You're silly. Look at so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Look how long your tongue is. All right, you guys, we're going to end it here. We'll see you around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks so much for chatting. I appreciate you. Hit the comment section and say, tell me where you're at, what you like, what you don't like. You should be able to discuss in a healthy place. That's called debating. You should be able to talk in a healthy place. But being mean is a whole different thing. Being mean is, you know when you're being mean, and we know when people are being mean. There's one way to talk, and there's another way to talk. And then if you have love in your heart, it should come out that way. No matter what you might sound like. Anyhow, we accomplished the groom, and we're going to go to the bath, drive, and maybe be done. Or tidy up a little bit and be done. But we will catch you around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Be watching out for that. It's a big deal. Max has gotten a full-blown haircut. We're coming in for part two of his haircut. We broke it into two sessions because it took a long time. Hand scissoring is not something that is done in hours. It's done in many hours. Hand scissoring can take many hours and maybe two people helping. Someone else bathing the dog while you even work on other dogs if you're going to hand scissor. So Max's groom was not even a hand scissor and it was up to an hour and a half and I told her let's take a break because he's now 14 years old. So yesterday we did a full blown haircut on Max, the Catab de Tulier. And he is coming in today for part two. We did a bath and let him air dry. We blew, we let him air dry and then come in today. We're going to do brush out and finalize the actual cut itself. What we show you in, ed in edited form is seconds and minutes of what could be five, 10, 12 hour overnight grooming sessions. So don't think that you are only getting a groom in an hour everywhere. When we come live and we get the groom done in an hour, that is physical live grooming. But when we don't, you don't know how long it took. You don't know when we started. You don't know if it was the day before. You don't even know nothing. Pay attention to what it looks like. Was it daytime when they checked in? Nighttime when they checked out? Was that the, probably the next day that they checked out? Does the dog look like they've been drugged up? Does the dog look weak, tired, sleepy? All dogs don't get groomed like that. Some do, but some don't. So when you are judging everyone's work, be sure you know you don't see everything unless you are standing there. And that goes with life. If you're not there, you cannot say you were. And you cannot tell me or anyone else in the world what was going on if you physically were not there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. If you disagree or agree, please comment below. And we will see you on the next live stream. Thanks for being here. Love you guys. See you later.